and we'll see if that that works on that end. But uh, right now, Facebook seems to be all right. I just have to just rig my phone back up again. Uh, so YouTube is now up, and I probably shouldn't have moved this. There we go. All right. So just bear with me while I get everybody invited in here. Copy the link. I'm going to share it to my timeline. And I'm going to share it to the group as well. And we're about to get started. So I'm gonna do I gotta do roll call again, I guess. That's no fun. <laughs> Let's see. Just gotta get the pin post going here. You know what? I'm just gonna message everybody the link. So if I don't see you speaking, then I'm going to assume you're not here, and I'm just going to send the link out. To everybody. So Darren's here, Michael Kelly. Again, instead of roll call, I'm just going to message everybody because of the issue we were having on the computer. Looks like it's it looks like it's the software that's the problem, not so much Facebook. It's probably needs an update or something, and it's not telling me yet. So again, instead of uh, roll call. We're just going to be messaging everybody the link. And my hands are a little tied as far as being able to respond to uh, personal messages and stuff like that. So so we are we are sold out. We're breaking Bowman Draft. And we're completely sold out. We do have spots available for WWE. We need six spots in order for that to happen. Uh, four box WWE break. We've actually hit a few Stowers autos already. All right, I'm almost done through the list. So... Again, we are sold out on Bowman Draft. We have plenty of other breaks currently filling. Uh, we just posted our first 2019 Tops breakup. And I'm going to give it about a minute or so for everybody to get in here. So let me see. So if anybody has any requests for any personals, we'll be able to do them afterwards. Our featured personal for today is Leaf Best of Baseball, and that is at 169 for one box, two for 329.
and someone's taking one and two I could not see it who's grabbing spots in WWE I'm not able to see the comments What era is that based off of? Which era is what based off of? The WWE stuff? You wanted to take one and two? You got it. So now we need four spots for WWE to happen. Oh, it's uh, we. Some of the examples of things that we've hit are we've had vintage Mickey Mantle cards that were PSA graded. Uh, we had some. Um, we had a '90s Joe DiMaggio auto. Uh, we've had stuff as recent as like Brendan McKay. Shoei Otani is supposed to be available as hits in this. So it is. it covers everything. We've seen cards as early as the late 40s, early 50s come out of Best of Baseball and uh, cards as recent as the last few years. So we're having some technical issues before, so I'm kind of running for an equipment. Um, so for the WWE break, um, Michael Kelly grabs spots one and two. So spot two uh, is not currently available. 6, 11, 14, 19, 20, 22, and 23 are all available. You'd rather have 11 than 2, Michael? Or Tony will get 6? So, Michael, I have you down for 1 and 2. 1 and 2 is still good. So now we need 3 spots in that one. So we'll see if we can't pick those up during the course of this break. Again, uh, we were having some technical issues earlier, so we're good now. Uh, same Wi-Fi on my phone, but whatever. So let's get started with Bowman Draft. No box top of there. I'll just have to get used to how it looks on the phone here. Makes everything a little tight, but we'll figure it out. All right, so here we go. The first of two boxes. And then WWE is just three spots away from happening now. And again, 
posting some smaller breaks just to kind of get some uh, some energy going. So we do have a large break up right now. We have another break that's going to be large that we'll be posting shortly. Uh, another smaller break. Yeah, I don't know. It was a software program. I'm, I'm streaming all right on, on YouTube, so it dropped a few frames, but no big deal. So I'll have to look at that later and see if that's that one's okay. But I, I just have a feeling that the, uh, the Facebook and the software were not cooperating. So I'm not going to have as good eyes as normal. A little small to read the names here, but there's Alec Bohm. Big prospect for the Phillies. I believe he was a third overall pick. We got Ethan Hankins for the Indians. And Nick Gordon should finally be making his debut this year. He's been in Bowman since, what, 2014? Like, it, it's about time. You're, if you're a big prospect, you need to get started, you know? <laughs> I can see better this way. There we go. All right, I can see things better now. Nico Horner. And then we got a couple uh, Yankees here and Sigler and Brio. And Kevin Irizarry. That's a refractor. As was Matt Sauer. So moving right along through the paper cards. And it's all about that base, about that base. Again, all cards ship. Yeah, even the paper ones. Blake Rivera. There's Anthony Sigler, one of two catchers the Yankees took in the first couple rounds. Adam Hazley, another power bat. It was last year's um, first round pick, Nick Schnell. Cal Quantrill, and Travis Swaggerty with the throwback card there. And Taryn Vavra. And Jawan Harris with the refractors there. And got some more paper coming your way. Again, this one is all sold out, but we do have other breaks filling, and we'll be pushing those hard through the weekend. Grayson Janista, 99 out of 499 for the Bravos. So that is a um, aqua paper. Grayson Janista. Nick Dunn. Jordan Adams. Jesus Lazardo. Leary Tejeda. So this is going to go to the Blue Jays. We got Griffin Conine and Josh Stowers. Uh, whenever we have a non-hit or non-significantly low-numbered card come up with two players on it, we start from the top and the left and work our way across and down. If that card should happen to show up again, the next time around we go to the Mariners, even though the Mariners traded that kid away the other day. Carlos Cortez, 181 out of 499. So that is a refractor rookie auto there, or first Bowman auto, I should say. Uh, I did not get into the into that pool. Sorry. So there we go. Ian Anderson and Brent Rooker. All right. 
guys. So there's the first wave of cards. One autograph down, two more to go in this box. So again, first auto is Carlos Cortez, New York Mets, numbered to 499. And looks like our issue streaming are cleared up. I just had to switch on to the phone. I guess the software that we've been running with must need some kind of an update or something like that. Ooh, that is cool. And that is also why we have that rule. Oh my goodness. This is this is a badass card coming soon. We got a couple badass cards coming soon. So here we go. Little breaks doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get little stuff out of it. Uh, we, we got a couple nice cards. One of them is signed. The other one is not. Got Jake Wong. And Nick Decker. Got Nick Dunn. So this is the, what is that? I forget what they call it. This is replacing the, the anniversary parallel. All right, when it's an auto, it's numbered to the anniversary year. But uh, Nick Dunn of the Cardinals, and we're not done yet. We're just getting started. Got Casey Mize and Cody Clemens. Anthony Sigler, Refractor. Little one cent love for that. And look at that. The other catcher, Josh Brio. Back to back there. Interesting cut on the cards. And what else we got? All about that base. And I don't know why that was flipped around. Are they doing uh, short print on paper? No, they're both coded 72. I don't know. I don't think there's anything special about this one, but I'll put it in a sleeve just in case, and I'll look at them later. Got Royce Lewis. So we've talked about how with the uh, multiplayer cards, if they're significantly low numbered, all right, now, if it's a product like, I don't know, National Treasures, then it's got to be lower number than the norm, like 25 on National Treasures. For a product like this, usually the magic number is 50. And uh, 50 it will be. All right. So this is going to be random between the Cardinals and, yes, the Red Sox. So the Red Sox has a 50-50 interest in this one. 27 out of 50, Nolan Gorman and Tristan Casas. So this one is going to go to a random later. So that will be randomed off. And I'll try to get a video guy to do it tonight, but that doesn't always work out. All right. Now, now we got the little one out of the way. How about the big one? So this will go to the Royals, no number on that. Shane McClenahan and Parker Meadows with the Refractors. There's Nolan Gorman all by his lonesome. All right, are you ready? Alec Bohm again. Only a few of the paper guys I end up getting sleeved. Uh, 270 out of 499, Josh Naylor. So this is a guy who is uh, been around a little while. He was actually a Marlins prospect. And uh, his brother Noah is a decent position prospect for the Indians now. So nailed it. But... 
There's Jonathan Indiana Chrome. Let's give that a little one cent love too. But, 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 but. We got India and Siani. And then everybody wave. Check that out. Six out of 50. Cole Rorderer. Cole Rorderer. All right. For the Cubbies. That is huge. That's well worth more than the buy in. <laughs> so, Cole Rorder for the Cubs. That is a major hit right there. We got Monty Harrison, uh, Esteban Floreal. And that's half the first box. We still got a box and a half to go. We're all good like that, right? Still one more autograph in this one. Let's see which stack it'll come out of. And that's color. Victor Mesa. Um, I want to say I've seen the name before, but it's 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 one of those common names that probably could be anybody that I'm thinking of. Is he a is he a prospect coming out in Bowman? I know some of the uh, prospects for 2019 Bowman have been showing off their uh, signature cards lately. Oh, he's one of the guys that's an elite. Okay, that's probably that's probably where I've seen it then. Shed Long, who's now Seattle bound, but shows up obviously for the Reds there. That trade just happened. Tristan Casas, me Casas is Sue Casas. That is a Bowman Sterling, so we'll give that a little one cent love. Simeon Woods Richardson. Yes, he was an international signing. So Noah Naylor, he hasn't shown up in any uh, Topps product yet, but he was an elite extradition. They usually have, you know, like last year, we were hitting a Stevon Floreal last year before all the craziness with Bowman Chrome this year, and then we hit him a couple times uh, in 2018 too. But uh, elite extra usually gets a jump on the top international prospects. Uh, I don't know necessarily why that is, but... Usually, if you fall in the top five for that given year, um, you can get a good return on it, especially if you get rid of it before they become a tops issue. <laughs> so we got here Cal Mitchell, uh, Blake Rivera, Pedro Avila, Grant Little, and Tim Kate, 306 out of 402. With the uh, Aqua Chrome Parallel. And then Mariners, Logan Gilbert and Josh Stowers. Colton Eastman. And Blaine Enlow. <laughs> 
So like the Guriels. Pretty much. We got our paper, 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 paper. And Larry Tejada, Brennan Davis, Adonis Medina, Blaine Enlow, Mike Schwerin, Ademan, and Tristan Casas for the Red Sox on the throwback card as well. Logan Allen, happy Thursday. Matt Theus. And that'll close out this bunch over here. So we got one more stack of three packs in box number one. Already uh, two numbered parallel autographs, one of which was a gold wave for the Cubs, Cole Roeder, Roederer. And then Carlos Cortez for the Mets. Let's see what else we can't hit. I got to tell you, if it's Elite Extra Edition, the best piece of advice is sell it before they get a tops issue. Just, I would sell it. It's kind of an instant gratification thing. Man, what team was that getting beaten to death? Whew. 17 auto. I mean, there's there's like a full case of elite extra has 200 hits. So, I mean, 17 sounds like a monstrous number, but when there's 200. Uh, no, it was just supply and demand. I mean, the, the card that everybody wants is the first Bowman Auto. You know, that's the, that's the feature card. If there's nothing else, though, and there's no other options, then a lot of people will ignore the unlicensed. Or it's not even unlicensed. It's not it it's not logoed. So Oh you got the international team? Yeah, that'll get you that'll get you the most amount of hits probably. <laughs> we got O'Neill Cruz, Alec Thomas, Jemai Jones. And Tanner Dodson. So Schnell and McCarthy. So I'll go to the Rays. We got Vlad. Uh, Mike Schwerin. And then back to paper. Casey Mize. The first overall pick leading the way here. And let's see. Getting it back to the Chromies. So, Ryder Green, Brady Singer, Cody Deason, Nick Madrigal, and 106 out of 250, Jesus Lazardo, purple. We got Madrigal again, this time with Jordan Groshen, so that should go to the uh, White Sox. Yeah, that, whoever priced that didn't didn't if that was if that was pick your team pricing, and they put the international slot at twenty seven, um, that that wasn't good research. <laughs> if it was random, then uh, then that that sounds all right. Oh, it was random team, okay. Jonathan Ornelas, yeah, then that would have been totally on you. <laughs> And Ryder Green again, this time with the refractor. Yeah, don't trade the international slot. 
Think of the guys who have come out of that slot, going back to Eloy Jimenez and uh, um, what is it? Victor Robles was an international guy. Um, you know, a, a lot of these guys just they're not drafted. They come out of the international money. So that's that's a good spot to get. Yeah, that, sound, that sounds better. <laughs> so 27 out of 250, Nate Pearson, uh, purple paper. Uh, not yet. We got Ford Proctor, maybe in box number two there will be. Owen White, Osiris Johnson. Because Tristan Casas is going to get the next hit, the third and final hit from box number one. So Tristan Casas for the Red Sox. So that makes the Mets, the Cubs, and the Red Sox so far uh, the hitters in this one. But we got one more box to go, so we'll see what happens from there. Uh, John Duplantier and Matt Manning. The two refractors. Yep, we're also still trying to fill that WWE break. So hopefully we can get that rolling for tonight. Uh, if it doesn't go tonight, I don't see why it wouldn't go tomorrow night. But if we can get those three, that would be awesome. Although it gets harder and harder to find a video guy after 11 o'clock. And no box loader in that one either. Box number two. Couple color parallels. So again, we're on the second box of this two box break here. No, I don't. So the way that the WWE one works is every hit can be drafted. Uh, there's also spots for all the base cards out of each of the individual boxes, all the inserts and parallels out of each of the individual boxes. Um, with the NXT box, there's 10 autographs in it, but there's not a lot of base cards, so the base inserts and parallels are all combined on that one. And then the order is generated, and everybody drafts in the order that the that it comes out in, pretty much. All right, so we've kind of seen just about everybody here. Cody Clemens there, uh, Favre, got it. Kawar. Grayson Rodriguez and Caden Grenier. Oh, yeah, I never did reheat that, did I? Cody Deason. Cal Quantrill. I don't know if he signs. I don't recall seeing him sign before, but... He might have at some point. So we got Kyle Isbell. Um, Becky wants to know where those stickers are. Uh, Corey Howell. Where did they go? Oh, they're right over there. Well, she's asleep now. Oh. Cody Deason, number 8 out of 99. 
So that's a decent card right there. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, there's Madrigal in India. I think that's the second time we've seen that one. I'm not sure. Josh Stowers, that is a refractor, so we'll give that a little one cent love. And there's Owen White. And there's Kellenick on paper. All about that base, about that base. Boom. Here comes the boom, ready or not. Grant Levine, Grayson Janista, Mason Denneberg, and Brady Singer again, 186 out of 402. So Aqua, Chrome Parallel on Brady Singer. So McCarthy and Thomas. And a nice little refractor there of Jonathan India. Give that a little one cent love too. Kevon Jackson as well. I thought that was a real smart deal that they made uh, to get Sonny Gray. You look at Sonny Gray's uh, home and away splits. Obviously, something's bothering him in New York. Is he going to be returning to a sub-3 ERA dominant pitcher? Probably not. But I do think that he's going to be an arm that they're going to be able to use. Reds have a decent rotation that's got a lot of youth on their side. Uh, I think Gray's veteran presence is going to help them out a lot. He'll probably be an 11-12 win guy. And it uh, wouldn't surprise me if he's got an ERA of, like, between, I don't know, 3.5, 3.75. So do I think he's going to be an all-star? No. But I think that was a great trade um, for the uh, for really all the parties involved in that one. Uh, you'd be surprised they... I'm not saying that they're going to go to the World Series or anything, but you'd be surprised. They could be one of those teams that's a little bit more competitive than everybody expects. Uh, oh, yeah. We got another big hit coming up. I should have just opened these boxes myself. What the hell's the matter with me? <laughs> All right. Here we go. I really should have. I don't know. I got two more. Well, you look at the Braves last year, and that's that's what ended up happening. So, Caden Grenier, Bryce Terang. You have to wait. Sean Weimer. We got Casey Mize and Brady Singer there. Sam Carlson and Jemai Jones, the Refractors. <laughs> nah, you know, everybody here who's here regularly knows I enjoy I enjoy the big hits going out to uh, to everybody when they get big hits of guys that they want. So that's that's my enjoyment in the hobby. You know, I don't I got a few things that I collect, but really um, I just like pulling huge cards and uh, making everybody happy for it. So. John Duplantier, and if I can make a living out of it too, then uh, I'll keep doing it. So, <laughs> you got Adrian Morahone, Colton Eastman, and there's Owen White and Tim Kate. And we got Jeremy Ironman for the A's. So, A's with an auto. Jeremy Ironman. Dodgers is going to depend on Clayton Kershaw. No. Kyle Cottom. We got Williams Nelson. 
And back to paper. Yeah, that's the rumor that's coming out. She wants to start a family, and she just, you know, she had her little stint in wrestling, and now she's accomplished that, and she's happy. I don't know about that. That just seems so odd, considering the details that we do know. Maybe it's a swerve. So check this out. It's not a first Bowman card, but it is a good prospect for the Twins. Brett Rooker, 23 out of 25 on paper. 23 out of 25 on paper. It's not too shabby there. Kind of like with Brock Lesnar supposed to be being done, and now he's the champion again. I mean, for real. Kevon, <laughs> Kevon Jackson, Ryan Mountcastle, uh, Osiris Johnson, Lenny Torres, Jake Wong. Numbered 61 out of 250. It's not the first time, and it probably won't be the last, that we lower the boom. Sixty-one out of two fifty. What did Darren say earlier? I feel like I'm due for a big hit. You did get the Phillies this time, right? I would hope so. Any football breaks? We do have um, a four box little random team thing going on. Uh, it's. Oh, uh, man, I don't even remember what's in it. Two boxes of Unparalleled and two boxes of Don Russ Elite, I believe, are in there. Grant Koch and Jazz Chisholm. So that's, uh, that's actually the second purple bomb that we've pulled. Out of uh, out of draft, so sure thing. I can't do anything. I can't do any messages right now because I had to stream off my phone. Oh, look at that! Got another low numbered card. Yeah, I don't know what the deal was. I tried for like twenty minutes to get things going on the computer, and it wasn't working. So. Maybe the software needs an update or something, but I'll tinker with that in the morning. All right. And don't forget, if you go onto the, onto the main page and you go onto our pinned post, all right, all the shortcut links for the breaks should be on there. Uh, the only one that is not is the one that we just posted today was the uh, 2019 tops. But generally, within 24 hours, everything ends up going on the pin post. And uh, unless there's like a glitch with it, um, I just update the same post over and over again. So... So that is pretty much the constant. You go to the pin post. You can even save the uh, well. Heavy machinery is kind of a jokey team. Brady Singer. And there's Brady Singer with a refractor, as well as Nick Schnell. So they're a little goofy. There's nothing wrong with a little goofy. I like a little goofy. Nolan Gorman. Some might say I'm a little goofy. <laughs> Let's 
So we got here Jameson Hanna, Sean Gilby. Oh, Nick Prado, 72 out of 402, so aqua parallel on that. Yeah, well, they, they've been putting on the best matches lately. You know, rumor is that uh, um, Ronda Rousey's match could headline WrestleMania and be the actual final match for the first time ever. And if it were her and Becky Lynch doing it, it would blow the roof off of the place. Travis Swaggerty and Adam Hazley. So, Jesus Sanchez, Bo Bichette. No, Bohm was the last hit. There's a uh, Chrome Bohm, <laughs> Chrome Kellenic. And check this out, four out of five for the Pirates. Again, it's not a first Bowman, but shoot, I'll take a red parallel for, for a little team like that. Cal Mitchell, four out of five. There's Kellenick and Cortez. Will Banfield. Alec Thomas. Wasn't that a repeat of the match from SummerSlam? Hey man, Vladdy Red, I hope you still have that. That that'll go for an insane amount once he gets called up. There you go. Yeah, man, we need three spots for this wrestling break. Um, it's not close to me. It's like about two hours away. Give or take a few minutes, depending on what time of the day. <laughs> it's a couple hours away. <laughs> oh, separate boxes, too. All right. So, not too far, but compared to, like, other states, maybe. I'm down south. I'm in uh, Ocean County. So Jackson Kawar, Durbin Feltman, Ryan Rollison. I do do a card show up in that direction, though. Um, it's not until, gosh, uh, I don't remember if it's Super Bowl week or what it is. Uh, Dylan Cease, Jared Kellenick. We'll give that a little one cent love for the throwback. Yeah, traffic can be bad depending on what time of day you go. I try to reserve those travels for real early in the morning or like dead at night. <laughs> All right, so this is the last stack in my hand here. Who's going to be that last autograph?
Oh, yeah? Good luck to him. Uh, Raymel Delgado, Nick Madrigal, Dallas Woolfolk, Tim Cates. We got Travis Swaggerty with the uh, Bowman Sterling. We'll give that a little one cent love. Trevor Larnach. Oh, yeah, the rain was bad today, too. Yeah, Sean Gell. There's Nolan Gorman on paper. And we are approaching the end of the stack here. So who's this last hit going to be? We've already seen this guy once on a gold wave. 121 out of 150. John Duplantier, blue paper. And Alex McKenna, Logan Gilbert. Carlos Cortez saw his autograph earlier, too. And well, it looks like somebody did a reorder on Col Cole Rorderer. We got another. Not quite as shiny as the first. So there we go. Twinsies. Look at that. I mean, they're Cubs, but you know what I'm saying. They're not identical, though. They're fraternal. Well, they came out of two separate boxes. It's just the way the cases go. We're used to it. All righty. So let's do this hit recap. And again, I'm going to recap something else. All right. This is a four box WWE break that we're trying to get filled up. 2019 Road to WrestleMania. 2018 Women's Division. 2018 Heritage. And 2017 NXT. Um... Three spots needed to schedule that one. So, and it's getting late. So, one, it's a draft break. So, we want to make sure that uh, pretty much everybody's awake and available for it. And two, uh, I got to get a video guy on that. So, if we got any other spots that are looking to get filled on that, just let me know. And let's do a hit recap. We also got a few decent honorable mentions. So, we'll honorably mention them, too. Uh, I think hit of the night is, for the most part, between two cards, but I think one in particular um, has got it. This one's going to go to a random. So we have Nolan Gorman, Tristan Casas, number to 50. So that is significantly low numbered enough. And uh, that is going to go to random. Number 181 out of 499. You got Carlos Cortez for the Mets. And that's not too bad either. And a few numbered parallels there. Tristan Casas for the Red Sox. Jeremy Ironman for the A's. Got another honorable mention here for Los Piratas. Cal Mitchell. And paper, but paper number to 25 ain't bad. Brent Rooker. We got Cole Rorder for the Twins. And then our two candidates for hit of the night here. Alec Bohm, purple, strikes again, number to 250. And then Cole Rorder, gold wave, number to 50. What do you guys think? Who is hit of the night? And do we got any more takers for WWE? Or does anybody want to get a Leaf Best of Baseball at 169 a box, two for 329? So uh, we'll give a couple minutes to see if we have any more activity tonight. Otherwise, we'll look to have a jam packed Friday night breaks. Uh, we'll have a lot of things going on. I mean, catching up on uh, getting some uh, packages out. We had some supply issues 
And uh, I finally got team bags in yesterday, so now we're just kind of all morning long. That's the oh, morning. Uh, all late morning, early afternoon long. That's been our push. So even the guy who got the Alec Bohm is saying the Cole Rorter card. <laughs> Look at that. Any other uh, any other input there? So Rorterer is a second round pick. So if you want to make the argument, he's a second rounder, and he was the number three overall. So <laughs> so the argument's there. I don't know what what uh, Nico Horner I think is the um, the stronger of the two. Um, major Cubs prospects out of this product. So anybody else looking to get in on WWE uh, with only three spots left? If it don't go tonight, I'm sure we'll be able to push that through for tomorrow. But if we do get the three spots in the next, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, then uh, we can at least attempt to get a video guy on that. So, and we can see if the computer can be working again. But, thanks for those who uh, bared with us for the first 15 minutes while we were having the technical issues, and obviously we got through them without a problem. So, last call. Keep your eyes out. We have some major breaks that will be posting soon. All right? And when I say major, I mean big. So one of which I mentioned the other night, and I just got to slam down the final numbers on that. All right? So uh, last call. Uh, we also got Flawless Baseball in. So if anybody's looking to get in on any action for Flawless Baseball, that is here, and uh, I'm going to work a breakout around that as well. So I'm not hearing anything back. So I should be available on Messenger for a little while. Thanks, everybody, for tonight, and we'll look forward to ripping you a new one tomorrow. All right. You thirsty? Okay. Water it is. And then we can watch our season finale.